Hi, everyone. Good morning. It's Monday, 8.38 now, so I'm just logging on to check in with all of you. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We were really talking all morning long about how beautiful the weather was. I'm going to give it a little time to let people log on here and join us for our conversation before I head into the 9 o'clock show. Uh, but yeah, this weather this weekend. I, as you know, I say it all the time and I uh, probably get a little annoying with how much I love the warm weather. But let me tell you, for someone who doesn't love fall all that much, this weekend was absolutely beautiful. It was so nice to get outside and enjoy uh, the crisp air, but with the sun still out, it was just wonderful. I went out to dinner Saturday night with some good friends. We sat outside. It was just a really great weekend. So I had a wonderful weekend. I hope all of you did it as well. We have Peter joining us in. Good morning, Peter. Uh, Brendan, good morning to you. Thanks so much for joining us here. George also checking in. All right. so. Right now I'm going over our scripts. We have Good Morning Connecticut at nine happening in just about 20 minutes. So let's talk to you about what we are covering this morning. Obviously still very busy as we continue to follow uh, President Trump. He's still in the hospital, the Walter Reed Medical Center after testing positive for COVID-19. That news came out early Friday morning. I think he actually tweeted his tweet out Friday at 12.30 a.m. So still something that we've been following throughout the weekend, still this morning. His doctor saying that he's improving and may be able to leave as early as today. Yesterday, he did sort of a motorcade parade thanking all of his supporters who are outside the medical center. And he also tweeted a video thanking all the medical staff. So we're continuing to follow his conditions. His doctors are saying that he is doing well. He is improving. News 8's Eva Zamara has been covering more of a local connection to that in the sense of how local leaders are reacting here and how his re-election campaign in Connecticut thinks this will impact the election. Believe it or not, that's next month. So that's what Eva has been talking about. Obviously, um, it's a hot topic with COVID in the schools all across Connecticut. Susie has been talking this morning about Southington High School. It's closed. It switched to remote learning on Friday after a positive test there, but another positive test popped up. So the school will be shut down for in-person learning all week, not only because of the positive test, but also because there's a lot of staff at Southington High School who are quarantining at home. So they're saying that they don't even have the ability to have in-person classes if they wanted to, just because of the lack of substitute teachers that are out there, right? We've talked about that as well. That's a big problem that a lot of districts are facing. There's just not as many substitute teachers. Susie has been talking about that. She'll have more for you. Good morning, Connecticut at nine. And let's take you to the Brass City where we are talking about a COVID-19 case, um, multiple cases, I guess, in the police department, but even the police of chief, uh, chief of police rather testing positive Fred Spagnolo. he tested positive came out with that news and he is still working he says he will continue working obviously from home and to, unless his conditions change he says he's doing well right now there's a lot of other officers that are expected to be tested today and then an aide to the mayor there mayor O'Leary also tested positive but the mayor's test came back negative so this is something we will be following closely as well and we're really gonna watch how and if it spreads through the police department. So we'll continue to keep you updated on that. That is what Samaya has been talking about all morning long as well. Uh, let's see, moving on along right here. Hey, we've been talking a lot about, um, unfortunately, businesses that have really been impacted by the pandemic, a lot of them, large, small, um, but. They just came out with a report saying that the nation's second largest cinema chain is considering closing all of its movie theaters. And that's sad. Um, obviously the movie theaters were shut down for quite a while and were just able to open up with limited capacity not long ago. But um, it, that makes me a bit sad because when you think of your childhood or if you, maybe you're a parent or a grandparent, 
I always remember going to the movies with my family as a child and loved going to the movies. You know, we'd show up, we'd get candy, a soda, a Slurpee, and go and watch our favorite movie at the theater, the big screen, um, with our family. So to hear that there was 500 re real cinemas in 42 states, four in Connecticut, nonetheless, Waterbury, Branford, Waterford, and Pawkatuck, and that they may all temporarily close down. Uh, that's sad to me, and that's obviously just, you know, one industry that was hit very hard by the pandemic. So we'll have more on that for you as well. Um, coming up on the 9 o'clock show, Worcester, Massachusetts is saying it's a no-go for trick-or-treating. Um, they just don't think it's the safe, safest idea to go door-to-door -door right now, obviously, given what we are dealing with as a country. So they have some ideas of what children can do this Halloween instead. So they're saying, you know, pumpkin carving, that's fun. Socially distance, of course. Uh, Halloween scavenger hunt. Obviously, you could take it online, right? We've all had to do something online, I'm sure, where that's uh, what we're dealing with now. A lot is moving online. So they even have recommended a virtual Halloween costume contest. So... Speaking of costumes, this is this is fun. Hutch, I'm going to ask everyone tuning in to guess yeah. what I made everyone in studio guess about oh, Mackenzie and I's. Too? Yes. Nice. I like All right. So listen to this before I head into studio. Let me tell you, Mackenzie and I picked out our Halloween costume, and it's quite funny. Not that we could do anything, right? But we're, we'll just put them on and maybe head out for a nice dinner. But I want you to guess, and I'll give you a few clues. Everyone in studio uh, guessed as well. Took them a little bit, I think. I think Hutch guessed pretty fast. It took me a little bit of time. Keith, it took a long time. Keith actually had to Google. And I, I guessed a couple of wrong ones. A couple of yeah. What? You, you did. Guess but you got, it, you got it pretty fast. Um, all right, here are my clues. It's from a 90s movie. All right. And two male characters. I feel like that's all I can really give you. It's a funny movie as well. And the costumes are pretty funny. Okay, so if you're tuning in just now, I'm explaining the costumes that Mackenzie and I are going to be wearing on Halloween. Again, it's from a 90s movie. I think it came out in 94. And it's pretty funny. So think about it. Write your comments here. I'll maybe post a question as well. But I am going to head in to the studio, get ready for the 9 o'clock show. We hope you join us for that as well. And I hope you have a wonderful day. If you are checking in from the New London area, Norwich area, is it still raining where you are? Gil was showing us what it's been like uh, throughout the morning there. A lot of rain, heavy rain. You guys are lucky, though, because we as a state, as a country, really, we need it. So um, we were saying, if only you guys could share that with us. But some of us not receiving any rain this morning, but that's okay. Oh, someone got it. And I'm not going to say <laughs> That was good. Someone already commented their guess for the costume, and they got it right away. <laughs> someone just said, Bill and Ted. <laughs> yeah, you guessed Bill and Ted, right? All right, I see the correct answer on here, but I uh, I don't think I should acknowledge the person who <laughs> is guessing correctly right now. But um, let's see, a hint, because I know you personally. Let's see. I won't be wearing it to the dance studio. There's my little hint for the person who checked in right here and guessed it correctly. Oh, you guys are fun. You guys are guessing some good ones. All right, continue to leave your... Um, guesses right here on Facebook page. <laughs> I'm not saying who's right right now. Leave your choice right here, and I will check back in with you. In the meantime, join us on Good Morning Connecticut at 9. Bye, guys. <laughs>